that game was really really hard to watch anyways guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to ok speaks football on my match review guinea bissau zero nigeria one now what was that game in other news nigeria has progressed to the knockout stages of the afcon 2023 and i do not seem to be so happy about that news i mean we should 100 percent progress into the next round if we didn't do that that would have been a bigger problem but the way we did that is just really really abysmal now of course we thought you know going into the games of the afghan we would see improvement but for some reason we've been retrogressing it now seems the first game against equatorial guinea was our best game of the tournament we haven't seen any compartment we haven't seen any improvement no cohesion of any sort we're just playing here there here there no clear tactical plan or even if the tactical plan is there we are not executing it well and that lays on so many factors for this to start with we have not put out a consistent lineup we keep chopping and changing and i you know i'm really surprised that the manager is chopping and changing the tactics i feel maybe he was pressured to use a few players in the group stages because it was almost guaranteed that nigeria was going to go into the next stages but unfortunately now nigeria is going to be going on the second position you know to the knockout round and I, I honestly do not think there's anything we could have done about it equatorial guinea was just outstanding first of all they twatted guinea bissau 4-2 and on the next ground they twatted Cote d'ivoire 4-0 that is totally crazy how did we get a draw against equatorial guinea how did we get a draw and i think the the super thing about the super eagles of nigeria is that we actually match our opponents <laughs> that is really funny to say but it looks like we are a team that likes to match our opponent we played against equatorial guinea we matched them properly we played against Cote d'Ivoire, we matched them properly we played against guinea bissau and we obviously matched them properly now that was not a good game to watch that was poor performance from the players also poor performance from the manager because the way we set up was a recipe for failure i mean we set up two negative against a weak and a struggling guinea bissau side and we gave them the atmosphere to play football i mean in the first half you guys saw how the game was it was so lethargic we couldn't even pass the ball we were going for long balls against guinea bissau we left the whole midfield open for them to play football it was really really abysmal and that was literally why the game ended the way it ended of course it was probably due to personnel i mean the players that started the first half were not the proper players that should be starting you know for us any where was lukman where was lukman where was probably iwobi you know it's just so many questions to ask about the first half but i think you know this could have been what the nigerians wanted to see probably nigerians wanted all of the team to play and now the coach tried to put in cheap in some of this you know players and we saw a very abysmal first half anyways second half was so so much better like i do not even want to call any players right now because it was a full full catastrophe you know of gameplay i mean guinea bissau was playing more beautiful football than nigeria and now guinea bissau is out of the tournament we progress into the second half but they played better than us at the end of the day it is really funny that we cannot just play good football even though we are you know the title of nigeria's win is carry me they go you know carry me they go like that is how we are winning the game god is just keeping us you know dashing us goals dashing us points you know and we are just going because based on performances we should be the ones sitting back in this group stage we should be the one because we played really really poor uh today but guess what guys we are on to the next stages of the afcon 2023 and now of course i am no even longer positive 
I was about to make a video of can Nigeria win the AFCON 2023 but right now I'm just going to hold my mouth, hold my carcasses and just wait for another time because we showed today that we really do not know what we want to do. We showed today that we have only one game plan and it's to put the ball over the top for Osimen to run and chase. And you know, speaking of Osimen, I do not know. It looks like they've done yet, they've done now jazz against Osimen because it's getting into all the right positions. The only problem is putting that ball into the back of the net. And when it does put it in the back of the net, it is an handball. So tell me there's no black magic here. Someone is doing something against Osime and, you know, hoping he should not score. But guys, I mean, he's been doing everything right. The team has been doing everything for him and it just seems to not happen. That goal is not just coming. And of course, I mean, the second half, once again, if I should repeat, was so much better, especially when we brought on Iwobi to the pitch. It was lovely. Lukman also very energetic. I mean, we can speak a lot about individual players, but I think today it lies on the manager because the, when we started the game, the gap was too much. The gap between the midfield and the attack was too too much we had no player in the midfield to help us connect the attack and the defense and it was just really catastrophe and now of course you know having said enough about our team we must speak about the officiating we have to speak about that officiating it was totally abysmal i mean this is football this is football it felt like a robotic game. It felt like an overly controlled game. Uh, honestly, it was pauses here, pauses, 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 pauses. It felt like we were watching a Netflix series and people kept coming in and out of the room. It wasn't even flowing for 10 minutes. You know, the referee was, I don't know, probably not very experienced, blowing for every cheap and easy foul. It was just, you know, it was just chaotic. Both the, uh, the officiating department was chaotic. We as well as Nigerians, our players were also chaotic. Even our coach did not set up us well today. But guys, it was enough to get the win. I mean, if you check the XG based on statistics, I know we are still supposed to win the game properly. But guys, that was pretty much it about the game. I honestly did not even have any man of the match about the game. I mean, if you're still watching the video till now, please make sure you put your thoughts in the comment section. What did you think about that game? Because for me, I thought it was not good enough. And of course, going in into the group stages and now, you know, getting out of the group stages and coming into the knockout stages, our performance needs to be really, really extraordinary improved because what we did today it is not enough to even get us one win in the knockout stages and knockout stages is you make one mistake and you are out of the tournament back to nigeria back to kano back to abuja back to oshun state back to lagos it is what it is we need to really improve the manager needs to pick his first 11 and stop tweaking and tweaking we do not have that time to tweak and tweak this is a tournament when you win the title you win it for all of your 24 man squad or your 28 man squad you do not have to play all the 28 players but yes guys that is my match review please put your thoughts in the comment section and see you guys in the next match preview. Make sure you turn on post notifications so you do not miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and peace.